Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing additive and multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.6c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a simple graph here. Actually, it's just a plot of, of various points, and it's a game. So our x-axis shows the number of balloons that are popped. The y-axis shows the number of points. It looks like as you pop more balloons, you get more points, which makes sense. That's how games work. So we need to find an equation that best represents the relationship here between x and y. And you notice we've got two that are multiplying, so that's your multiplicative options, and two that are adding, those are your additive options. So let's do this. Let's take our x and y, and let's take them out, and let's see if we can put them into an input-output table. Because we're really kind of used to this input-output table. Now that's something we've done in fifth grade and below, so this input, right, is the x, something happens to input and you get your output of y. And really when we're talking about variables, uh, this output is the dependent variable. That means it changes based on or depending on what we put into it and this is our input or our independent variable. And so just so we can label these correctly, we have our independent as our x, and are dependent as our y. So let's pull these out. Looks like the x's are pretty simple. It's just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I've got my 5 right there. It's the y's. Let's see, that first one is right there between 20 and 30, so we're going to call that 25. And our second one is 50, so if the pattern holds, looks like we're just going up by 25, so that's easy. 75, that's 100, and that is 125. So now that we have a set of x's and y's, what we can do is we can start plugging them in to these options right here. We can also look side to side, and we can look to see what is our rule or our relationship, right? So we are getting bigger. The two options to getting bigger are going to be adding and multiplying. Those are our two options here, additive and multiplicative. And it looks like it's going to be a multiplicative relationship because if you wanted to add uh, one, one plus something to get to, to 25, you're going to get 24, right? But just looking at it, 2 plus 24, that is not going to make 50. That only makes 26. So let's try our multiplying or our multiplicative option. So if you did 1 times 25, that gets you your first one. Let's try our second one. 2 times 25, that gets you 50. Yeah, that works. 3 times 25, and this is pretty simple because this makes us think of quarters and if we're adding money. So 4 times 25 makes 100, and then 5 times 25, that makes 125. So we're good there. So our rule is times or multiply 25. But the problem is, is our answers don't look like that. Our answers look like this. So this is where we can plug it in. So let's try our multiplicative options first. So since we already said that addition doesn't work, we can get rid of A and B. So C says X equals 25Y. So I'm just going to take my first X, which is 1, and my first Y, which is 25. I'm going to put a parenthesis here because that's, how, that's another way to show multiplication. 1 equals 25 times 25. That is not the case, so let's hope it's D. Y, our dependent variable equals 25 times x. Our independent variable, so that's 25, equals 25 times 1, and yes, that is good. And we just replace those values, and we have our answer, which is D.